That's unacceptable. Not for a $30,000 conversion. Lump it over your shoulder and throw it on the ground. And you're doing it at SEMA. That is a bad look, Dodge. Welcome to Rip Roaring Garage. I'm Alex and I'm kind of bummed out because I was waiting to make this video because I kind of wanted to see, I wanted to see what the big guys, the guys on the inside were saying about SEMA. Well, nobody really covered a couple of glaring issues. Your time is valuable. You don't have time to sit through, watch through 10 channels, all of them at SEMA, putting out 50 minute videos. I'm going to give this a uh, short and sweet. I will credit everybody. Be purely fair use. Now let's start with the shakedown. The shakedown was supposed to come well, it's still coming in two variants, wide body in pitch black and narrow body in smoke throw gray. The manual was supposed to be a stick. This is OC Motivator's uh, footage. Do you see a stick there? Got a side shake down right there. It's got the red stitching, red seat belts. That prompted me to do some journalisming. I went to my dealership, we went into Dealer Connect. <laughs> Man, you should have seen Tom's face. Had an allocation, one manual, basically already tied in to the shakedown, but now it's gone. The shakedown is showing as an ATX, no MTX, and no more allocation. Because I thought, oh, okay, great, then order me a, you know, scat pack wide body shaker convertible. I am mean, I'm, I'm dumb. Apparently, they will no longer be manuals, which does fit with a rumor from Tremec that there is a shortage, supply chain problems with the manual transmission. So snatch them if you can find them. You just shake it back and forth. Even the 22s. I don't think they're going to go up in value. I'm going to have a video coming out, I think, next week about that very topic. I need a little more research time. Just a regular bare bones, whatever card. It's a stick. You're not going to get that chance anymore. So get it. That's what the man said. You heard what he said. He said that. The swinger package was supposed to be that more retro 70s vibe kind of feel. The dash and the center console. When Dodge announced this, they showed us this photo. This wood grain dash, kind of this, well, fake, fake wood grain, if that makes sense. So now we're gonna be going to Junkyard Dave's video. We have this green Challenger scat pack right here. It has the kind of the matching stitching, the green stitching all the way around the dash, door panels. It has like that same like brushed center console stuff that they've been using forever looking at the car itself there is no wood grain there's no pattern at all it's a, just a regular gray instrument cluster bezel and center console bezel that's it i was actually kind of looking forward to seeing that because it's kind of cool everything's aluminum and piano black and all that Apparently, that's a no-go. The Black Ghost, which I am very disappointed as far as the uh, nose script. I really don't like that Dodge emblem right there. It looks hokey. I do like the Challenger script instead of Hellcat. Uh, it says Challenger here. That's a nice touch. But then again, I'm old fogey, so what do I care, right? Well, what do you guys care? Or Dodge. We're, out. We're on the way out. The King Daytona. That one has straight up Daytona seats. Like, there's no King Daytona. It's just Daytona in orange. King Daytona badge right there. Daytona here. Orange stitching. Carbon fiber. This is literally starting to feel like just throwing whatever we have in the warehouse, let's patch it all together, call up a vinyl company, put some stickers, special edition. I would not buy any of them at this point. No way. No. I'm actually trying to figure something else out. Probably going to be in the video after this. Some other issues, you could attribute it to a rush. Panel fitment on the convertible. It is a prototype, or at least it's the zero car. I could forgive that, but what I cannot forgive is that taillight. Well, what the hell? That's some $5,000 trailer tail light. They added a third brake light right here, which doesn't really make much sense at all. Like, it looks like it came off a trailer or something. Really? Come on. It's not even pointed straight. It's like angled down. They just freaking put some wood screws here and look at this angle. I mean, that's the angle that freaking light points. That's unacceptable. Not for a $30,000 conversion. At that point, you're just better yanking the spoiler off and putting the stock one and say, screw the third light. Let them pull you over.
I would not be surprised if it's freaking, you know, self tappers <laughs> holding that in. That's just bad. Okay, call it nitpicking, but they had uh, an engine stand with 345 with the supercharger on it. Nice little setup. Pricey. Everything's pricey. So forget about it being cheap. But it is at least there. That means that somebody's gonna buy it, they're gonna have a project, most likely it's gonna fail, and you will see these on the second mar uh, secondhand market. So at least that's something. They're gonna be available. They will make them. But when you display an engine at SEMA and you have one of the ignition modules, the connectors just ripped off. No injectors. Someone broke one of the coil packs. First, who was moving that around? And what did they use? A garbage bag? Lump it over your shoulder and throw it on the ground? That makes me worry. If I order one of these engines, what's gonna happen? Am I gonna get the same kind of stuff where stuff is broken off of it? That is not a good look. And you're doing it at SEMA. Everybody's been on uh, eyes on Dodge because that's where we're supposed to see the seventh mystery car. I will repeat it again. That thing is just a stage three super stock or jailbreak. Don't get your hopes up that it's a elephant. That thing will not get emissions in California. But yeah, we were all looking, waiting on Dodge, and instead we got that stupid uh, red uh, charger thingy. And I'll say I like the wheels, but I like those super stock, thick, meaty, you know, thick boy tires. But other than that, okay, color and whatever, but the, the car itself is just not right. All eyes youtubers video and all that and you put an engine with a defect on it that is a bad look dodge get your crap together man that's some freaking disha sendero level crap that's all i got for you today probably by the time you see this elections maybe they're probably gonna still count them so whatever we'll, we'll see what happens so if you like what i'm doing here i would appreciate a like and if you do subscribe you're going to be part of a great community we're forming we have some great momentum we comment we answer we help each other this is the place to be if you're into cars particularly mopars but not only this is it we have that that drive so I'm Alex, this is Rip Roaring Garage, where oil is thicker than blood. Now hand me that like. So if you like what you, uh, so if you like what I'm doing, I will really, uh, so that prompted me to do some journalism, journalisming. Ladies, when you put on that sleeveless dress, what's the first thing that sticks out? <laughs> <laughs>